there was actually a less natural but equally good way of winning the game. Queen c7 b7 would have the same main point and threats, but after. Queen g4 g5 A natural way to win the game exists. Bishop d4 captures f2 Rook f1 captures f2 Queen b7 b1 Black exploits the fact that the ra2 is unprotected. There was actually a less natural but equally good way of winning the game. Queen c7 b7 would have the same main point and threats, but after. White is of course unpleasantly pinned on f2, which makes the defense of the g2 square more difficult. In a chaotic position like this, with pins from d4 to g1 and e2 to a2, an x-ray from c8 to g4, and where black has sacrificed material, it is hard to think about positional factors, but they are still there. In this case the weakest square in the vicinity of the white king is not h2, although that is the least defended square, because we also need to take into account the potential of the attacking pieces. Here only the black queen can reasonably reach h2. On the other hand, all of the black pieces can attack the g2 square, and on top of this the bishop on d4 is tying white down and eliminating the planned defense along the second rank. Black managed to exploit this quite beautifully in the game. Queen c7 c6 the weakness of the g2 square suddenly becomes very pressing. Black threatens, n e3. Queen g4 takes on e2. Knight f5 h4. With mate on the way is the nice point to black's combination. Queen g4 g5 King g8 g7 